Okay, I just checked game one recording. I think I was a bit too close to my mic. I think it was a bit too over. Like my, my voice was a bit all over the. I don't know how to say it in English. It was too loud, basically. Okay, we are back with ABR vs. Leak game two. I like Leak's team. It looks cool. He has a Mew to check. Like my, oh, they both have a Mew, so they were expecting like a manager maybe from the opposing side. You see Stabu Bulu, which could be the Z-move man. Garchomp has to be the Scarf, probably. The Rock has either um, Scarf, Rock's Jump, or um, Rock's Mew. I, it could also be Rock's Malagros, but that would I think that's a bit weird. I don't think it's Rock's Malagros. As we see, um, Tony is just knocked off the lefties from the Mew and Ice Beam. So maybe I just having the Ice Beam Mew to check Zygarde. Last time he had an ice beam slow, bro. So you guys can see that ABS like kind of preparing for Volk, um, not for Volk, for Zygarde in that sense with having ice beam on, so he doesn't wanna want Zygarde to just run through him. As we see, um, I obviously have a Volt switch, probably default Mew, which it could have Wisp and it could have like soft boiled, or it could have Wisp and like Psychic Stab to hit Toxapex. Not exactly 100% sure about the set. They see um, Nines and Substitute from the Tapu Bulu predicting the Willow is by of League. So let me look at ABR's teams. That's either Scarf. He has three potential Scarf. I don't know. Stigunja. Garchomp Kaleo. Could be Scarf. I think it's Scarf Kaleo. The Jirachi. Uh, <coughs> I don't think he's Scarf Jirachi. I think he's. Um, either Spadaf Rachi or like. Maybe sub toxic or maybe Lujirachi with Icy Wind. I'm not really sure about that. Or it could also be Rock Rachi if he's Z move Lando, that could also be an option. But yeah, this is probably sub SD or sub Leech Seed. I don't know if it would have um Leech Seed and SD. But yeah, maybe I doesn't have the best answers for this bull. He could go with Jirachi here. But if it's like SD bull and the SD Zap, the Jirachi could get blown away by plus two superpower or plus two Z moves. Like I think Bangy posted like a set which is um SD bull with Bloom Doom. So even if you resist it, if he has these and he has Bloom Doom it also blows back Jirachi. Like I don't know if it would Oko but it would do it would do so much like but yeah, if it's all um, the superpower, uh, all that power, and Jirachi will get blown away. Since the moon has Ice Beam, I guess maybe I could s just stay in a break the sub if he doesn't want to switch. Doesn't need this Mew for anything. This Mew is like nice to. It kind of checks Mare Gross, but. Oh uh, yeah, he received the SD, which was uh, pretty obvious that he would have that. And now, I assume we see a Honda each less wood hammer. I, I assume we see the grass that are coming out here from the league. Yeah, I love League has to win this game. If you guys didn't see game 1 yet, I will upload game 1 obviously before this. Maybe I won the first game at the best of 3. I mean, you guys all know this, but I'm just saying this for like new viewers. I love Lee did his homework. Okay, he subs again. That was. Oof. I mean, the Kelly is probably gonna be able to break the substitute. Yeah, exactly. So, it doesn't make a big difference there. He just gets his health back with a home leech. Kelly drops, and this puts Lee in, in an amazing position. Land. This could be Z Fly Land, or the way he br brings this in. Oh, he just brings it into a set of rocks. Okay, so he's defensive land, I think. I mean, he could also be Zenith land with rocks. But I think he's defensive. So the new was uh, Willow Wisp, Ice Beam, probably Soft Bolt, and Defog. Okay, we see a U turn from the tomatoes. Maybe I was probably scouting for HP Ice there. Oh. I tried to 
damn I just got a heart attack I tried to type in the battle but thankfully it's mod joint <laughs> so I couldn't talk in the battle I mean it's obviously mod joint because spammers exist I just wanted to um look up which mu which mu revealed the softball yeah the opposing mu revealed softball so I wasn't wrong on that just wanted to make sure so I could see the <laughs> the Metagross if it has Earthquake could come out here, otherwise he could go Guard Chomp. Or um if he wants to play it a bit more passive defensive ish, he can go Gather and Fire of a Scald. A Jirachi gets technically gets a grass coverage to hit Gastrodon, but I don't think there would be a set that you run Jirachi. And we will see after the league brings out a non if this Jirachi is leftovers. I don't think ABR would be Scarf, I'm uh, not Scarf, would be Spikes on Greninja because like he has default Mew, most of his mons are weak to opposing Spikes so I think he would like have to defog if the opponent gets up Spikes and he doesn't really want to trade Spikes so. The Kaldir could have been Specs because the Scald broke the substitute mm -hmm. from the Bulu but I'm not 100% sure about that. We see the Metagross obviously have Okay, pursued. Gets a crit there. Maybe I got um okay we see if he gets a burn here that would um, be really bad for League. Maybe I got a spit death drop in game one. Which was really annoying for League. So we see the slow U-turn from maybe outside, League not wanting to risk getting a fire punch burn. So fire punch is for Scizor, which is really nice. I run that sometimes on Jirachi. And we will see, I think we will see the Greninja come out, yeah exactly. So the Ice Beam threatens the Tornadoes. The Leaks, um, Gastrodon is probably like Spadef to check Ash Greninja, exactly. But this is our Protein Ninja, we will see if it's not Life Orb, it's probably Scarf slash Expert Belt. I mean, I don't think it would be Zenith Greninja, if he goes for Curse, he just says, I'm going for game, my man. So we see the Mew can only Willow Wisp the Gastrodon, but Lee makes the smart play, doesn't want to let this Gastro get burned. And if it's the default Mew, I assume he will just go for the default here. As exactly it's default Mew. And you will probably see the Volt Switch from from Isle of League or did Lee get rocks up this game yet? But any more? I don't think he did. As maybe I predicted Lee to switch out. I mean, Lee can volt switch out into Torn. I don't think he loses anything. If his Torn gets burned, it's not the end of the world for Lee. But they're just trying to catch the opponent. They're both staying in Sven Lewis, trying to catch the opponent on a switch out. And maybe I just said I'm going for some damage right now. Our uh, Lee has kind of the upper hand in this 1v1 because his Mew still has leftovers and ABR's Mew got knocked off and loses I think 6% every turn yeah Burn got nerfed this gen <laughs> this is so much better than Toxapex on Toxapex <laughs> I mean they will both have to click softball eventually and the opponent will probably yeah ABS is predicting the softball here and Leak makes the whiz play again nice play Jirachi gets burned so I don't think maybe I can come back from this as he turns not wanting to let the Gastron come in for free he could have also gone to Tornadoes there We don't know yet if this is defensive land, we all, all, all we know is it's rocks. Like, it could still be off plate and blow this gas through in the wind. <laughs> but I assume this is just Scarf if it's not the Chomper. Um, like, I assume the Kelly was Specs, but not 100% sure. So, what would it be the. This could still be SD here. Yeah. God, the background is going wild. Yeah, 
Yeah, since Link needs this gas room, kind of to check the green ninja. I could see him going to Torn here. If his HP is on Torn. Someone said I'd go Metagross. That was Steve Angela. Yeah, yeah, just goes for rocks again. So League's okay. League went for defog, so League is willing to let his Mew go down. League will just spam defog here. But the thing is, oh, never mind. He went for Willow Wisp. I was like, League can spam Willow Wisp, can spam defog, but it doesn't gain anything from that because rocks have more PP. So this Mew just dies to rocks now, which means ABR is pretty free to click off, Craig. I mean, he can technically save this as fodder, and maybe I could predict the switch out and go for Stone Edge slash Smackdown, whatever he has on this land, but I don't think there's really a point in switching out the Mew, and also there's no really point in predicting a potential switch. So, the Ice Punch is threatening here, so I could see Heart Greninja. Okay, he goes Heart Mew. So that's a Fist of Mew, takes it, eats it up, but Mew is kind of forced to soft boiled. I could also see ABR going for Willowis, predicting League to stay in and fishing for a Mew Mesh boost. But yeah, he just makes the soft boiled play, and uh, I can see the just Hurricane spam exactly. Because the Mew's already knocked off. Mew has a dodge there. That probably would have done like 25%. Oh, 34, okay, that's, that's a bit more than I thought it would. But yeah, League, League is in a decent position still. Gonna see uh okay hurricane again. Strachi is burned. Strachi isn't doing much for ABR, so it might live a heat wave, and ABR would get a slow U-turn that way. Slow U-turn into like Greninja or something. Okay, it's healing wish. That's pretty cool. Brings his probably his Mew back because the Mew was burned. I mean, not. Oh, I could go bring the Landorus back. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't think my narration is the best today. I'm kind of tired, but let's just try to do the. Let's try to do my best. I'll <laughs> definitely do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm glad that I was able to catch the series. Anyways, like the series was pretty hyped. As it grabs the momentum there, as um, maybe I was still fearing a potential HPIs. Okay, this blue, I don't think the... Oh, I thought he would stay in spam ice cream because I wouldn't think he would let Lee get a free substitute. That only did so much. Because it's not banned, Bulu. We already know it's not banned. So, is this like grassy plate or something? Or grass plate, however you call it? Yeah. What does play even do to this blender? I'm talking about play two. So maybe a double what that was a gold play by ABR. Doubles into Greninja. On the Metagross. Like the Metagross would have obviously lift off Craigs because Grassy Tyrion was up. So I can understand going Metagross. Um Ice Beam doesn't do anything to Gastro, so we'll see a recover from the Gastro in here. I mean, Petlop said, I see the freeze coming. I feel it. I don't think the freeze is coming. Phew. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely done to record a game 3, so I hope League wins this one. <coughs> Boy, it's so hard. Can my brother in the back shut the fuck up? Good god, this guy's annoying. Like, maybe I can just spam Will Wisp or Ice Beam. Okay, Ice Beam. Gosh, I'm even lives one. And I probably, yeah, exactly. League's probably going up with Roxy since he never went for Rocks with Mew. And Rocks and Magus would be weird on this team, so. I think the Garchomp was the Scarfer. 
like, yes, he has a tornadoes to check Volk, but tornadoes can miss hurricanes and Volk lives hurricane anyway as plus one probably. Yeah, and like, yeah, Volk is a big threat, so I think he had to be scarf jump. Or he just knows that Avia doesn't use Volk that often. I don't know. Yeah, that, that's something. Um, in the Sonic Moon OU meta game, you cannot check every threat. There are so many threats, especially with Game Freak uh, releasing the megas like every few weeks, new megas. So I, so what you're gonna do in a tournament series is basically you kind of have to look into what your opponent uses. I feel like and just I don't want to say build a counter team, but you have like use something that you're comfortable with, with, and it also has a decent matchup with most of what they use. And this series, this game is just over. League just wins. You get a free sub there. I don't know why ABR didn't Ice Beam. As that did. Wow, that was a crit. Okay, that crit sucks. But, um, it still would have tweet killed. I don't, yeah, I don't think it mattered. Yeah, exactly. Still would have tweet killed the Mew. So, can we just back with the Ice Beam slash Gunk Shot coming out here? Probably Ice Beam. Yup. Trying to. F you can still freeze, but. No, Gaspar has Scald, so at this range of freeze wouldn't even matter. It would, the only thing that would matter is that it would force the gas to go for Scald, but I think we see the Recover here. So he just goes for Curse. Um, I would have gone for Recover there. <laughs> I would not play around with this Greninja. But he has the Grassy to support his gas to so... So, even if it's the Taunt Greninja, it's not Scarf Moon. Which means maybe he was a uh, Scarf Kelly, I'm not sure. Oh, is it, did Abion's Scarf Jump come out yet? As this is a uh, tweet KO, the Earthquake on the Gren. But Gastron would get really low in the process. I think we're gonna see a Scald put maybe come out as ABI goes for the flinch. As this Greninja is designed to be Toxapex with Torn and Extra Sensory. I mean Torn is also great with the sticky web teams. To um, prevent from Smurl from getting up webs. So like you don't have to go for Torn because some Smurl carry a magic code, so it could be like a 50-50 type of prediction there. If you play with a Smeagol, but it's always nice to have a potential Taunt versus Webs. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's nice that I didn't get the Hex there, because I definitely won the game 3. Okay, now we will see if it's Scarf Jump, but Scarf Jump can't win, so ABR, um, loses game 2. Like, Scarf Jump will have to go for Earthquake to kill Metagross, or Fire Blast. Oh, he's going for Rockside Flinches, that's his only potential win. But yeah, he would have to get so many Flinches on Grass, Bulu would also eat it up. Like, if he goes for Earthquake, he can't kill the Bulu and the Thorn, so... I guess Rockside was the only play there. I mean, it was over, definitely. But yeah. We'll, um, I will be right back with game 3. And I could see ABR bring some stall or some feather team game 3. I mean, this is like Pokey Offense Balance ish. Like, it's not super fat, but it's kind of like the Muna Jirachi, like, kind of fat backbone, I guess. But yeah, I mean. <laughs> um, I wouldn't really want to see a stall game 3, because those games take uh, super long sometimes. But yes, stay tuned for game 3 for sure, and I will see you there. Peace out, friends. That will be a different video again. Because these uh, videos are like super big, like they take long to upload in HD, so peace out.